Well, I mean, in terms of the row, I find it quite strange that Nicola Sturgeon um, used that term, I, I'm a real a feminist, implying that J.K. Rowling wasn't. I think regardless of what you think about uh, her views on the trans debate, she is undoubtedly a fem feminist idol. This is a woman whose marriage broke down. She was a single mum. She really persevered and ended up publishing these best-selling books that get thousands, millions of children uh, interested in and into um, reading. She's campaigned tirelessly for uh, women's rights, um, but it's her skepticism over whether men can trans transition um, to into, over whether men can transition into um, women that, that has caused um, her to be the subject of a lot of uh, uh, ghastly um, abuse. So I do think it's strange that that, that, that was what Sturgeon chose to um, pick up on. Um, in terms of this gender a reform bill. You know, I think a lot of women like JK Rowling are worried that this law might be abused by some men who seek to harm women um, and gain access to women's only spaces. Um, so I think, you know, it's obviously a very, very difficult um, issue. My own libertarian view is that people should feel free to live their lives however they choose, so long as it doesn't impact on others. And that that is where the discussion and the debate becomes very, very difficult because trans women, you know, all to be able to live their lives as they choose, as they identify as women, as they've made that transition. But at the same time, we want to ensure that biological uh, women are, uh, are able to feel safe in what have historically been single sex spaces. So, it, you know, it, it's very difficult. Um, and this just, just really illustrates that. I want to uh, just fit in one other story, but just briefly, Sarah, your thoughts on this too. I think as Nicola Sturgeon said, um, the threat this is not a threat to women's rights. You're not removing women's rights by giving more rights to trans women. And she said as well that the main threat to women's safety comes from men. It comes from cis men, not trans women. And so women's rights campaigners should be focusing on ensuring safe spaces for women, which will be accessed by people who are trying to do harm to women. And those are likely, much more likely to be cis men, so men who were born as and identify as men than trans women. And Nicola Sturgeon has said that's what we need to be focusing on. I think it is sad, however, that um, both Nicola Sturgeon and JK Rowling, as you were saying, Annabelle, are fantastic feminist, strong women. And it is so sad to see that this debate is something that has so divided mm. the feminist movement. Yeah. Um, Look, we've it got, shouldn't be. 